Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As The Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I am Mike Dan, straight out of the heart of Hobbiton in the Shire, out of New Zealand. What are we drinking? We are drinking something totally not from there, but it is a product of Belgium, coming out of Brasserie de Orville. Ooh. This is the Orville Trappist Ale. Hey-o! hey right? Um... Yeah. The focus. It focused, right? Okay. We focused. It's old beer. I just... We've done a few reviews. I just learned I, I did not have the camera on the setting I usually have it on. Ah. And, uh, now, I'm, now I'm having a, a mental complex. But I'm not going to try and let that overwhelm I'm gonna get a this wonderful later. review. All the videos are trash. Uh, so, uh, 6.9 ABV. Uh, bottle on 3-11-2022. So, we are well over a year old. A little bit. Uh, but it says it's good till 3-11-2027. We'll so we got about four more years on the sun gun. I, um, review over. Let's just wait. Okay. I'm good with <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's uh, imported by Duvin Corp, Seattle, Washington. Yeah. A great little minimalist label. It is. It is. I really it, it's like very, it. I, I, would, I, would, I would think it's earth friendly, right? I sure hope so. Yeah. Um, I don't drink a lot of Trappist Ale, so... Got this from the old Wegmans. Picked it up at Wegmans. Uh, talking about it with a, a friend at work, uh, Sylvain. Okay. How, you... Talking about a, a lot of Belgian ales, and that one popped up. Full transparency, I've had this beer. Okay. And I've enjoyed it. Uh, that just looks glorious. That is it's... a golden honey orange. I mean... Yeah, it's, it's like it, a setting sun. The, the, yeah, the beer is creating itself out of the foam. Yeah. My friend. Nice uh, rocky, thick head on it. Like Oh, I see. Like It's a very carbonated. I see the little bubbles. Yeah, bubbles uh, driving. It's, uh, dare I say this is a, a champagne of beers. Oh, a Belgian champagne Coined of beers. Coined that. Right here. I felt like beer news. Copyrighted, trademarked. All that good stuff. Oh. Banana yeast. Yeah, I got the the phenols kicking. Yeah. The, like clove. It's, it's almost like banana chip. <laughs> oh, yeah, like a banana chocolate chip pancake. Yeah, oh, yeah. But, yeah, clove. Little hints <laughs> Is of it weird that I'm, I'm getting, like, pancake? No, not at all. I've made banana walnut pancakes plenty of times. This smells like... <laughs> Cause you get that that doughy kind of thing going on. Yep. There. You can't even swirl. The head doesn't even move. <laughs> it just kind of jiggle. Mine's jiggling a little bit. Ah! Let's get, oh, jeez! It's flying all over. Usually, I'm the one that says good change pace. Oh, let's dive right in. Cheers. Hmm. Okay. It's light, fruity, very carbonated. Dry. Dry in the back. Bitter. Yeah, a little bit. A little fresh hoppy bitterness to it, like a chewing on it. So this is like, I guess I'm more used to like Belgian, like, um... Like trapels and quads or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that was my thought, too, when I, when I had this. Hmm. So it's like Belgian... But, like, it's like a Belgian Pilsner kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like a lighter, like dry, crackery kind of thing going on. Even though it's the ABV doesn't suggest it, it was like, oh, this is a light. It's Belgian light. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah I don't mind it. I, I liked it. When I first tried it, it, was, it wasn't what I was expecting, and I enjoyed it. This is something I would drink. I definitely pick up a bottle once in a mm. while. I like it. It's a nice change of pace yeah. beer. Um, we, like, we like to delve into some of those... Belgian styles, the right, dark right. ales, you know, the quads and things like that. I think this is a nice change of pace. Yeah, I think it's a nice change of pace. Uh, it's definitely uh, serviceable uh, if you want the Belgian. Maybe, I don't think this would be my first. I think I'd probably go, like, Delirium before this. But okay. uh, that's a different style. Though, yeah, so that'd, be a, that'd kinda, be a good kind of Here's the deal. Battle. Not a fan of Hefe's. 
that much. We, we've said that many times. As my palate has changed, as I've gotten a craft beer, it's kind of evolved. I, I appreciate mm -hmm. them more, but... This sort of has, like, that heffy thing, but, like, that dry Pilsner thing, and I'm not a fan of the dry Pilsner thing. For That's me. the other thing. It's barrel and dry. dry oh, I don't know. It's okay for me. Uh, I have a three and a half. Okay, I, I give it a three eight. Like, I like it. I think it's a very serviceable beer. Yeah, it's it's very decent. If you're looking for something to, to mix things up or just have a bottle in the fridge, like, mm -hmm. like, I'd like to drink something like that once in a while. I think it's a great pickup for it. Yeah. All right, uh, yeah, down in the description below, uh, you know, all the social media links, uh, check us out. Hey, cheers, gang. We're a serviceable channel.